Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. We're checking out the Idiot Abroad. This is Season 3, Episode 1, Venice. Guys, please can leave your comments below. All our videos based on your comments. And if you are subscribed, we check those out first. We also have a Patreon. If you can afford that, that's cool. Just continue to like, share, and subscribe and comment below. That means a lot, and I appreciate it. Um, really excited for Season 3, guys. You guys have been amping it up so much. I've been really, really wanting to jump into it. Um, I'm having some problems uploading um, the Carl meet meeting Warwick. Because you guys wanted to see that first before I did this. But if I can't get it to upload, we'll see. Um, but yeah. If for some, And it's not a copyright thing right now. It just keeps on saying I already have the video uploaded. Or there's a duplicate and I don't. So it's not a copyright thing this time. So let's jump into it. One of the world's greatest explorers. In the 13th century, he embarked on an epic journey from Venice to China that took over three years to complete. Now, Ricky Gervais is sending his mate Carl Pilkington to follow in his footsteps. But this time, he's got a little company. What is stop just puffing and panting on that? Jesus Christ. It's like a Primark sale. He said if he did it again, he'd want some company this time. He meant me, but I've sent someone in my place. Yeah, grab all of them up. The cops there. They're like chalk and cheese. Carl whinges all the time. He's doing me head in. He's treating it like a holiday. He says he doesn't want adventure. He doesn't want stress. I'm just not a good swimmer. Once you're in, it'll be fine. Warwick never says no. It'll it take on a challenge. Tease the camera. Tease the camera. Now do a little bit from Oliver. Good. <laughs> it's not the night for this, is it? You'll have to do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> They're going to have the adventure of their lifetime, whether they like it or not. Whoa. Right. Thank you for signing up for another adventure. You're going to take the Marco Polo route. Started it all off, one of the most famous explorers of all time. And he went from Venice through Europe, Asia, and you're going to end up in China. I remember telling you when Dick Whittington walked to London that he had a cat with him, his cat. And you went, why take a cat, right? Take a little mate. I didn't mean a little mate. I meant take a mate. Take someone who can help you, bring something with them. Oh, hang on. Whoa. Yeah. So what are you saying, that I'm not going to bring anything to the party here? I've never seen a dwarf go on a round-the-world trip on any programme. Reynold Fiennes, or whatever his name is, when he climbed Everest. He didn't say, here's me little mate I brought. <laughs> if I'm being on it, no, if I'm being on it, Carl, because what, what, you, what you don't... What, what's, what's his height got to do with it? Yeah. I just think you're going to be a hindrance. Yeah. Oh, this is really Oh, uh, cold-blooded. Normally, when I've done these things in the past, all I've had to do is worry about myself. Yeah. I don't mm, have that many mm. mates. I don't think I need them. And maybe that's part of what's worrying me. That you're like a little sort of limpet hanging on, dragging me back. That's how it feels. Limpet? Cold well, like something that's just clinging on, a stag beetle, a leech, taking from <laughs> yeah, not you. A like a leech. That a would leech. be insulting. Yeah. No, a stag a beetle or a leech, he means. A no. leech, <laughs> sucking me blood, taking me energy because you're going, can you carry this, can you carry that? It'll be fine. It's not fine. I tell you what, I want that little bit on my phone with you going, it'll be fine. So that when you're shitting out a lung, I can go, remember that? It'll be fine. <laughs> That's what worries me. He hasn't got a clue. It's not all luxury. It won't be fine. It won't be fine. <laughs> Marco Polo, this is where he's from. This is where he started it. Think how old all this stuff is. You'd soon get sick of it, though, wouldn't you? It's a town made for mermaids. Do you know what I mean? It's just hassle. Yeah, but if you lived here, it wouldn't be a hassle because it's part of your life, and you realise when you want to get from there to there, you either jump on a gondola or you walk up to a bridge and cross. Yeah, I think we've moved on, haven't we? The time when we walked out of the water and stopped swimming about, we were fish, weren't we, millions of years ago? We weren't fish. We were some sort of swimming grub type thing, and it grew up into people. Now, I don't know how old this place is, but it suited us more back then. It doesn't work, this, living like this. It's not... It, works. it doesn't work, living this in water. This city's been here for hundreds of years. Where are we going? Just keep going straight. Well, I've got no option. I'm like Pac-Man. <laughs> you 
It's like a fire alarm's gone off and everyone's just hanging about. They've come to see this. St Mark's Square. It's beautiful. Never heard of it. 1600s, right? This was the centre for culture and entertainment in Europe. You can just feel the, the energy. It's interesting how the human body was represented. The body hasn't changed, has it, from how it was then? It's just that they were probably more tanned because they all, you know, walked about with the tackle out. <laughs> if you're walking about with next to now on all the time, you're going to make an effort to have a six pack. I've got a t shirt on, so I'm not bothered. <laughs> True. No one's got any pets. Why do you think they should be pets? Just to cheer it up a bit. If there was a fat ginger cat sat in the corner, it would take the edge off someone being clubbed to death. This is the stuff memories are made of. Oh, mate. That's Jesus good, isn't it? Christ. <laughs> I tell you, that is going to get right on me tits if he continues this touristy thing he's doing. He's treating it like a holiday. Isn't that how Marco Polo did it? He wasn't stopping every five minutes feeding pigeons. He's an explorer. He's pissed off over there buying ice cream or postcards or something. He's left me with his bag. Fucking ice cream. It's going to take forever, isn't it? This. Getting all the way to China. Got any ice cream? It's melted a bit. It's a long way. You like vanilla? Yeah, I like vanilla, yeah. We can't keep doing this, though. Yeah. We're sort of wandering about, taking pictures and that. Because it's not me, this. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to open your mind and open your eyes a bit and to appreciate where we are and what we're doing. And so we do the pigeons, we get ice cream, Italian ice cream. What do you mean we do the pigeons? I've never heard anyone say I'm going to Venice. What for to do the pigeons? We've got them in Trafalgar Square. No, I'm starting <laughs> to think I'm here with the wrong person, to be honest. I'm not moaning on purpose, it's just... No, no. And you weren't to know, but I don't like this sort of setup. I mean, what's a lion doing up there with wings on? If that was done today, you'd go, what's that shit? He <laughs> 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 only like five minutes, ten minutes in, he's all pissed off already. Right. Right. <sighs> Could have been no bedroom, I'm surprised. Excellent, lovely. Thank you. With the rose petals. What a lovely room. <laughs> It's like going away with a girlfriend for the first time or something, yeah, you suddenly, wrong. this is it. I'm with her all the time. It's when you find out what people are sort of... I like the little downfalls, the little ir irritating things that they do. <sighs> Everything's exaggerated. That's why honeymoons, honeymoons shouldn't be after the wedding. You should do it before it, find out if you like each other. Hello, um, it's Ricky, just checking in. Uh, yeah, so I saw you, you, you can just set it in, and um, uh, if you need anything, give us a call. Let me know if the little round headed twonk is moaning too much. Or in fact, let me know if he's not moaning enough, because that's what's funny. Um, if he's not complaining, we'll have to change that. <laughs> um, all right. Sweet to see you. Bye. Looking forward to today? Yeah. Got some fun things I want to do. Um, I just want to show Carl sort of the, 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 the idea of the masked wall and all of that sort of thing. And it's a tradition that goes back years. And um, it gave people anonymity. And they could actually sort of live out their kind of alter egos behind these masks. And even nuns and, and priests would do it. And so they could sort of get away with things that they couldn't normally get away with, which I think is quite interesting. Yeah. This is it here. Fancy dress. There you go. Dressing up. Masks. So uh, choose your character. Oh, I hate this sort of thing. Why? Because it's it's really forced fun. The idea is right. People never had any sort of anonymity. So to give them that they would wear the mask and they could become somebody else, another persona. Everyone did this. It's not Everybody just Everybody did it. Everyone got involved. Yeah, that hats look good on me, don't they? That actually doesn't do a lot for you, that one, to be honest, but... Hang on. They knew you were coming. <laughs> 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 now, that's funny. That's cheating. That's you wearing it, not me. 
<laughs> that suits you. It uh, totally changes you. Okay. Honestly. That's what I, <laughs> I want to find the one that's, um, it's like the, the like plague doctor. Mask. He had a huge nose. So the doctor would wear something like that? Well, yeah. So you go in for a serious checkup and you go, he, he comes out. <laughs> What's the way he's doing that when you're having a checkup? Hi, Mr. Davis, listen. You've got cancer of the bollocks. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want bad news from it's someone like this. It's me up, though, isn't it? I don't feel so bad about that now. Hello, good morning. It's a lovely shop you have here. Oh, thank you. We are going to a uh, masquerade ball tonight, uh -huh. and um, we need to have the appropriate outfits. Sure. This is more simple, more silent. Oh, this one is nice too. This Joker. This is great. This. Yes. Let's just see if it fits. Don't try and wear it like a smart suit. You've got to wear it as the character. You're not holding it right now, Carl. But that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm not comfortable when I play all the characters that I play. You keep Carl. mentioning that as if you've done loads of stuff, like you've well, done like Shakespeare. You've dressed up as a bear in Star Wars. <laughs> and a green gnome in something else that you're always going about. Hang on, OK, think about the bear in Star Wars. Again, it's a type of masquerade, isn't it? I was hidden in there, and I could fully explore the character of the Ewok. This is when it gets silly now. I was happy with the jacket. That's ruined it as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I look like a sperm. <laughs> and do you prefer Pierre? And what mask would I wear? The white and black. And what does that say to people? The message is um, the dreamer, man. Dreaming? That's dreamer. more me. That's more me. Yeah. yeah. Look a bit sad. Well, I am, you see. That's but hold your body, tell. just, oh, oh sympathy. Get the sympathy of the lady. Oh, fucking hell. No, not a oh. fucking hell. No, just... Jesus. Fucking what? No, that's, Jesus. that's annoyed. Just be sympathetically sad. Just, oh. Literally. Yeah, look, oh, the oh. head to one side. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going as? Mm, Casanova, is it? Casanova? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll For you? you. Thank I'll you, see. yeah. OK. It's dangerous. I can hardly see. I'm in a city where it's like 90% water. I'm in a canal. Okay. There you are. That. And the hat. Yeah, but you're gonna keep that up all night, walking around like that, do you? Stand know? aside, peasant. Right, I can't do with this. You've been doing me head in already without you walking around swanning about like this. <laughs> Honestly. I'm not on a full night of that. Look at it, though. Oh, yeah. I know. Look at it. Madame, may I have this dance? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You looking forward to the party? Carl no, extra really. bobby. I'm being honest. Not at all. What Warwick wants, though, isn't it? At the moment, it seems, you know, what Warwick wants, Warwick gets. It's just a lot of arsing about. I don't want to be someone else. I've been me for 39 years. What's the point in having a night off from me? I'm quite happy being me. Warwick's an actor. That's what he does. Who is the real Warwick? What does he like, really? He's dressed up as a bear in Star Wars, a green goblin and something else. Someone shouted Willow at him the other day. I don't know what he played in that. You can get a guarantee it's some sort of little troll under a bridge or something. I didn't know he was in Hitchhiker's Guide. He was in that. I didn't know. The way he goes on saying, oh, yeah, people recognise me. And I, did, I did not know. He could have been in 321 in that bin. I don't know. I don't know what he's done. But the point is, you never see his face. It keeps going on as if he's a proper actor. Oliver Reed I've never dressed up as a goblin. Get fed, have a chat, and go home. Have you never been to a fancy dress party? No. All we need is a stag do on the next boat. What's this? What are you doing with the shoes? It's fine, no one's looking at my feet. Oh, of course they are. Look at everything it's I'm really wearing. Look. Who's gonna be looking at my feet when we look like this? Where well, stands out though? It doesn't. Why am I sound there? It's not authentic it's now. Oh. Remember dignity. 
Carl, give us a hand. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Salvo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Don't ruin it, all right? Just with your attitude. Our guest. You all right? That's your home. This is Warwick. <laughs> Madame. No, 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 no. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> I'm a dream weaver. Salute. So, how often do you dress up like this? You don't ask like that. In the characters of what we're doing. Uh, <sighs> so, are you very different no, now? No, 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 no. You talk about the room and the, the food and the, uh, the, the experience. Venetian people uh, like to dress and do some um, game uh, to seduce uh, her... Uh, uh, victims, uh, it's so... Let them lower. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. you. It's oh, like you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Just awkward. It's like a, a, a sort of horrible come down with me. <laughs> I, don't, I, I like it. I like it. Listen to him laughing and all that, having a good time. And, uh, I'll tell you, I can't wait to find someone out what I do that he's going to hate. I'll say, remember, Warwick, I dressed up as a knob for you that night. You do me a favour. <laughs> If you were a nun, she was a nun, she would. <laughs> no, that's why you haven't got one. Yeah, like a burning. Uh, no, I'm all right. I've, I've had some pasta earlier. I'm quite full. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Cheers, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, cheers. Uh, just have one drink, yeah. and then I'll probably get going, because I have to be up early. <laughs> so, he might stay, but I'll be shooting off. Hello. All right. How's it going? He's doing me head in. What's he doing? It's exactly what I said to you at the start. He's treating it like a holiday. Uh, he's got like one of them little wig things on that judges wear and a little outfit and got 5,000 miles to cover. He's sat here having canopies. What, what's he dressed as? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's meant to be. I've never seen it. I don't know what he's dressed as. <laughs> a, a red velvet jacket and but like a small Adamant. Imagine Adamant as a kid. <laughs> you should see the looks we get. I was on a gondola. People weren't looking at the old buildings and all that. They were going, what is going on there? What is happening there? <laughs> they probably think you've got a, you're a businessman who's got a weird fetish, like pretty woman. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty woman. <laughs> oh, I'm a Ricky loving it. We, we can make a game. An old fashioned game? A Venetian? Yeah, of course, an old fashioned. Casanova use it. Ah. Yeah? The pleasure machine. Well, I didn't know that it was a, more like Monopoly or something. Ah, we want to be the first. Well, it, it's his idea. <laughs> yeah, then, then, he wanted to come to a party. Mm. Yeah. So, so Warwick, so it's your go. Stuff. Yeah, definitely. I just wanted to have a bit of something to eat and drink. Well, we can. Let's both go in together, then. Oh, We're doing right. the trip together. Let's yeah, experience yeah, yeah. the pleasure let's machine together. together. That, that's a bit weird, together. surely, isn't right, it? I'll pray you. Let's go in together with the Dream Weaver. Put the blind... Uh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you see me? No. OK. So, give me your hand. Oh, well, give me the hand. Does... Uh, don't worry. Ah, oh, this is sensory and deprivation. Well, we... So we both went in the pleasure machine. It's not a machine. It was a changing room. It was just a, a, a curtain. Close, relax. The machine's turning. Wait. Oh, well, oh, no, it's, it's my hat. Oh. Parlour games were invented for people who aren't really friends. You've got nothing to talk about because you don't really know them. <laughs> it's like, oh, we have charades, don't we? Play, give us a clue or whatever. If you get the board game out, it's because the party's not going well. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever been having like the, the garlic and the cheese and stuff, it was rank having someone sort of breathing in my face 
a stranger, a smelly stranger, breathing in my face. I was thinking, where, where's the oh, it's a pleasure machine? Where's the pleasure? Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 right, I reckon we got to get going. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I don't like it, I don't know. I've experienced it. <laughs> what are you done? I don't know what he was having played with, what he was having pleasured. <laughs> but he definitely wasn't in a rush to get out. Are you quite relaxed? I am relaxed. This is good. No, I've had enough touch now. <laughs> I don't know what you what, what you're saying, touch. It's in my hand. Just look after him. No, no. I'll see you later. Carl. <laughs> Of nonsense. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> There's a lot of hands. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> the dude making a face, and you hear a vibrator or whatever it was, like a motor going, he did faces making was killing me, man. Hey, Carl, that was the hug room, the cuddle room all over again. I see. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. I've had enough. I want to leave. having my bit of fun for today. Um, Warwick did what he wanted to do last night. Hang on a minute. Getting fumbled and all that lot. <laughs> um, that was his wish. So today, yeah, I'm just having a go on like a jetpack. I've seen it on the internet. Wear it on your back. And you whiz along the sea. It sort of uses the sea to push you in the air. It's like a superpower. It's close, closest thing to flying. The problem with Venice is it's stuck in its ways. It's very old fashioned. The art, the buildings. Whereas a jetpack is ideal. A water jetpack here, I don't know why they haven't used them. They're still messing about in gondolas. It's not practical. That's what this is about, isn't it? Showing the kids at home the future. Look at that. James Bond, isn't it? Wow. You're going to be strapped to that in a minute. Flying high above the lagoon. It's not, it's not quite what I thought it was. This is really cool. I'm excited about this now. Hello? How's it going? All right, Ricky. Um, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's really going well, thanks. Today's a little bit different. There's so much more we could do in Venice, but we wanted to have a go at this water jetpack thing. Right. So he thinks it's the future. <laughs> so he's strapped into this contraption, which is actually quite a cool-looking device, but when he's strapped to it, it sort of takes anything away from it. <laughs> <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> so, uh, so he, he, and actually, I think he's regretting it now. He actually looks terrified. Well, of course he is. He probably only did it to do something that was his idea that he would enjoy more than you. But it'll all backfire. That's it. Don't worry. That's it. See so, ya. Uh, I think we've got everything. Just end it. Just hit the end button. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> right, Ricky. Thanks. Just hit the end button. All right. <laughs> slowly, slowly. <laughs> slowly. It's always pulling me back. Yeah. Lower. I thought you just in the water and you give it that. I'm just not a good swimmer and I've got like fucking scaffolding strapped to me back. It's meant to be the future. <laughs> you alright? Not really, I don't want to do it. Thought it was gonna be easier than this. Well, once you're in it'll be fine. This is the hard bit, the getting in. Yeah, it's weight, I can't breathe, they've got fucking polar neck on, I hate these, I can't uh... Well would you rather be freezing cold? You're going to appreciate that. I don't that know. I'd just there. rather not be doing this. I don't know why I picked you it. You booked it's it. Thing again. I know. Don't annoy me. It's only one step. God, this is heavy. Okay. Hang on, let me just have a rest a minute. Where would you rather be now, in there or in the pleasure tent? <laughs> just lie back and just relax. Okay. <laughs> so undignified, isn't it? Slowly, slowly. Carl, how do you feel? Excited? You gotta get get up in the water like this. Stand straight. Yeah, just be a straight up and down. My legs are full of air. <laughs> sure. My legs are full of air. Just lean forward. Just lean forward and, and try and. I love the fact that he snooped yeah, himself with this. This is idea. I'm having problems putting my legs down. Just lean forward. 
One, two, three, four, three. No. Right. Okay, now just relax. You feel calm? Okay. All right, so you ready then? Hit the button. Just try to keep yourself balanced. Now roll over in your belly. Roll over. Twist. Is he drowning? Roll over! You all right? No, forget it. I couldn't control it. You just gotta throw your weight back and roll over. No, forget it. I'll get the water with you want. Not worth it. This isn't ready yet. Jesus Christ. Exciting, isn't it? How's this got made? I've seen people on the dragons, then we're more useful. <laughs> 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 You don't have to send people out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smart. I'll get a nice picture of you with Venice behind. <laughs> what are you doing? I nearly died. I nearly died. I nearly died. <laughs> Just pull the ball. Pull the cork. Just pull the ball and you'll come out of the jetpack. No, he said the cork. Well, that doesn't work. It does. Just, just pull it. It's not coming off. <laughs> I'll tell you what, once it's off, put it in the fucking bin. Shit. Pull the yellow card. Pull in the yellow card. <laughs> no, the yellow, the yellow one. There's only one card. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait a second. I'll be here. Oh no! It's like a beetle clinging on for his life. <laughs> See again, it's me picking things. I don't know what I want in life. I pick that. I've got no one else to blame. I'm not a great swimmer, and I couldn't get out of it. I saw only life flash before me then. What did you see? Seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chucking in the beard. motor actually started, did it the whole time? And we're there. to go down now. You don't always go the same way to Tesco, do you? Now, it's got one of the largest communities of Roman gypsies in Europe, so they're the after tonight, and I know you like caravan all of this. So you'll be right at home there, all right? See you later. Cheers. Uh, being a gypsy. I don't know, there's a little bit of me that I think would like it, but then, I don't know, I don't like change, do I? And their life, that's all it is, it's just one big change day after day, isn't it? They never get used to the surroundings. You know what I mean? It's like going on holiday, isn't it? Those first few days you have where you think, right, where's the shop? Where can you get the milk from? There's nothing here. I don't understand how people at home can call themselves gypsies, because it's nothing like that at home. They're not going around in a little horse cart like that. They've got a static caravan on breeze blocks. They're not going anywhere. They're not travellers, are they? They can't go anywhere. It's some, it's some, some bricks. Thank you. <coughs> Apple pie? Excellent. Really nice. It's lovely. Mm. Thank you. Lovely. Do we do we sleep in here tonight? Uh, here. Carl, there's a hole in the roof. Let's get that plastic sheeting on. Do we put the plastic on the outside? Over the top. Yeah. 
Carl, can you get my case in before it gets wet as well? Oh. That's got a hole in it. Hang on, I need a bit more room than that. Look how short that is. Stop moaning. Look at it. There's nothing wrong with this. Of all the people to be moaning about being in a tight space, you're not the one. I've <laughs> never seen that before. I've never spoke to someone and sort of said, oh, what instrument do you play? And they go, oh, playing the goat. Never seen that. Properly nicely done as well, like, it doesn't look ropey, sort of, you know, a dead animal. It looks quite perky. I suppose any animal that has more reasons to be around helps it in the long run. I think that's the problem with pandas and things. They haven't got a job, have they? They're dying out and no one cares. Whereas if you've got an animal that's chipping in, dogs do a lot now. They get blind dogs, huskies. That's just another job for the goat, isn't it? It does milk, does cheese. Musical instrument. It's good. Got a good tune out of it, had a good dance. Did me bit. You know, they all seem to be enjoying me having a dance with them. It's just Warwick who looked a bit sort of fed up and not up for it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't know whether he knew that, you know, there was um that well there could be sort of issues between me and, and, and gypsies and the fact that they they like to touch me for luck. I don't know. My head seems to be the luckiest point on me actually. It's it's the, the body isn't quite so good. He said a few people were getting sly touches in. Like sort of coming up with reasons to touch his head, sort of going, Oh, you've got a fly in your head there. Sort of rubbing his head for a bit of luck. Oh luck, yeah. But I think it's a lot of old bollocks, because I've been with him for a while and uh, he's pissing me right off. Nice, <laughs> 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 been hard work. Warwick annoyed me a little bit when we first got here. I was working my arse off there, dancing around, getting them all excited into it. He sat in here doing fuck all. Suddenly, you know, they've shown a bit of interest in him and his Hollywood career and his family and all that. Like, he's got his album out. So, yeah, he's loving that. That's my children. We were in Hollywood. That's Hollywood. where the Hollywood. films ah. come another Harrison. Sam, my wife there. Yeah, good. Went on holiday. Do you have a holiday? Well, you're always a on car. holiday, I've I suppose. Got a car. That's a flag. I haven't really got his pigeon. It's a bit bad, really. I haven't got a picture of Susan, but I've got a picture of a pigeon. <laughs> How was last night? Yeah, it slept. Yeah, slept all right, really, considering. I had a cling film for a, a blanket. I think he slept all right. I woke up a few times, he was just there. Just wrapped up, sealed all the way around. Like a little samosa. So in that way, he is cut out for this. And I've been saying all along that he's not up to it. But if it comes to sleeping in little holes and crevices, he's ideal. Hello. Morning. Will he stop just puffing and panting like that? It's really... I don't want to breathe heavily. Stinks of goat shit everywhere. Right, I've been checking the guidebook and I found something I think you might like. The Sufi religion, which is very popular here. Um, they practice mystical exercises, you know, to get into a spiritual trance. I think you need to find yourself, Carl. No, it really isn't a problem. Oh, is this it? I mean, what have you done that's spiritual? Really? I was hypnotised by a former Kenner once. Hello. Hello there. How are you? Warwick. I'm Carl. Murtazan. Murtazan. Yes. You come in here every day? Yes, yes, yes. I live here. So, what's... Sorry, what are these then? This is a... This is a man uh, in... in this place. Yeah, what is it? It's not growing tomatoes, is it? It's coffins. Yes. This is my grandfather. He was professor in school. He was a professor in school. School, yes. Will there be a place for you? To yes, be here? this is my place. This? Yes, <laughs> when I dead. Are you happy with that? Are you happy with this as a space? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right below the light bulb. 
It doesn't feel like a graveyard. It does something a little bit more. No, it does. It does feel like no, a graveyard. It's all majestic I somehow. Mad, isn't it? I mean, it's mad. I just want to remember them how they were. They don't want stuff in the basement. It's like a car showroom, the way they're all stacked up. I couldn't imagine this ever. Well, it wouldn't catch on. We wouldn't allow it at home. There's no way. You have to get permission to have a conservatory. But why wouldn't we allow it? Well, I don't understand what's, what's so odd. When you come to sell it, people are up there going, oh, this is nice. Oh, oh what's down here for storage? And you come in here, oh, and there's Elsie, there's Auntie, Auntie Jean. I don't know why you can't just accept things for the way they are. You just want to always change stuff. I this has been happening for 150 years like this. I'm not happy with this, I tell you. I would not be happy with this. <sighs> Come with you, buddy. I can't do it. If maybe yeah. I was, if you were raised that way, I guess it wouldn't be a problem. Yes. No, you are like dervishes. Aulu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman fine to start with, everyone's having a good time. Running around in circles, having a dance, having the, you know, praying, doing the what's the name. <laughs> Suddenly I thought I was going, just doing that thing, doing that, I thought, oh yeah, that's interesting, little chair, and then bosh, in the face. It knocked me for six. <laughs> if I put one right through here, you showed me all the scars. One here, load here. I'm going, oh, pull it through there. It's like a game of kaplunk. The way he's just sticking shit in him. Oh. What makes me laugh is when I'm at home, if I get a toothpick and I put it in my mouth and mess with it, Suzanne's going, don't do that, it's dangerous. Wait until she sees it. If she ever has a go at me again about messing with the toothpick, I'll go, watch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was Warwick nearly sick. I looked down at one point and he was sort of throwing up in his hat. It was shocking. I mean, you've got to admit that, seeing it. And then he starts saying, like, oh, we better get him out, he's going to be sick on the carpet. Well, I wasn't. He told us he was all right. There was definitely a point when he kept turning around and going, I was worried because there's so many mats in there. If he's sick, about seven mats have to go to the dry cleaners. They're all over the shop. <laughs> I've not seen that on the telly. I've never seen it. Songs of Praise on a Sunday, it's well boring. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see old people dancing around to, you know, Lord's Prayer sticking knives in their head. But <laughs> does it make any difference? Does it mean they believe in something more because they do that? Going well. Um, we're in Macedonia, of course. Um, we went to that religious ceremony yesterday. Yeah, I heard about that. It was a bit full on. Now, girls just sat there with his headphones on, not really talking. Well, it's not like what I've got up here next. Um, I've sorted out some others. Can I give him a bit of a lift? It's actually something I want to do for ages. Get him up in the air with a few balloons. So, <laughs> it'll probably go mad at first, but once you get him up there, he'll love it. Alright? See you later. Cheers. Is this safe? Of course it is. There's string and... Yeah, electric wires everywhere. Oh, it's just fucking stupid. I want to be doing the Marco Polo route. It's cool. You're going to be weightless. 
It's something he went on about ages ago. He kept going on about saying how he'd love to stick me on a load of balloons and get me in the air. It's not normal, is it, for a mate to be wanting that? Well, like, hold the end. Do something. You're here. I haven't seen you do anything yet since we've been away. Do some pictures. Jump. Do something. Oh, he's so busy. Oh, yes. Fucking nettles. Oh, fucking hell, it hurts on the come down, doesn't it? It looks great, though. It's really colourful. <sighs> Created a new ass. <laughs> Good TV. That's it. Get the seat round. That's it. Cheers. That's better. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, bastard. Is it better to run off the hill? For the record. Go. <laughs> Ridiculous run. Come on. No oh, good. No. Warwick, you'll have to do it. I'm doing it. Come on, Warwick. No, 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 no. Why not? Well, I don't, I don't think I need to. We've got what we That's need. his answer to everything since I've been here. No, I don't want to. Being short, you see, I'm not. I don't. Really like heights that much. Don't mess about. I'm not messing about. The kids up, want it. Get him up. There. There you go. They love it. Come on, don't let the kids down. Come on, I'm not letting the kids down. Remember that little bear you were doing for the kids? Come on, get in there. <laughs> 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 no, it's too big. Get in the No, I don't think this is going to work on me, is it? Yeah, it is. It's going to be brilliant. Really There's far too many balloons, surely. This is ridiculous. No, it was. <laughs> oh, no. Not too high, Carl. No. Not too high, not too high. You drowned me the other day. No one cared. We've got a dwarf and a balloon. There's no danger. Oh, <laughs> so, so no one cares. Why don't you just concern with me on the jetpack? I did. You didn't? <laughs> you went, oh, that's a bit of a letdown. This will make up for it. It's funny from down there, isn't it? I never had a kite. <laughs> oh. 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 No one cares. closer together. Hello? Alright. Did but, you do the balloon thing? Uh, no, I didn't do it in the end. There wasn't enough balloons, so they couldn't lift me, so I, put, I stuck Warwick in it. What do you mean? I stuck Warwick in it. He was quite happy. I wasn't. You were? It's, it's fine. I just heard him. I could, I could hear him say he wasn't happy. He was happy. He wasn't. Well, hang on a minute, anyway. Why is it alright for me to do it, but he's lugging around with me and he's not doing anything? Yeah, but I don't know if that looks good. If that looks like you're. Bullying. Ricky, Warwick. not being funny, but have you? I've seen people on balloons. I've never seen a little fella on one. Warwick's enjoyed himself. There isn't a problem. But what? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm here. Warwick, are you alright? Yeah, no, I'm alright. I didn't enjoy it though. I mean, it was ridiculous. We had the little local kids. They were the safety. They were holding on to the ropes. So anything could yeah. have happened. It was windy. It was their best day ever. What? Just let him go, and he just kept floating. What have happened then? He just would have gone up. Well, 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 but the same thing for me. When Dick Whittington walked to London with his cat, OK, he looked after the cat. He didn't make the cat do dangerous things for his own amusement. The cat gave him company. It was a symbiotic relationship. Honestly, if you offered me a cat now, I'd do a swap. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on An Idiot Abroad. Right, it's time to hit the road again. You're continuing your journey. I enjoyed that. That was a good episode, man. Carl seemed, he's always like a little grumpy, but he seemed extra grumpy. Almost like, um, what'd you call, which one was that when he went through like the woods? Like when he was super grumpy in the woods and irritated, it kind of felt like that same level of grumpiness. It was funny. I loved it. This is fantastic. Jesus. <laughs> I love how, I don't forget the director's name, how he is concerned about Warwick, but like he's totally he's like, nobody cared. Nobody cared about me when I was almost drowning. <laughs> Ricky's worried about work. Nobody cares about Carl. They just keep making him do all... They made him do all this crazy stuff through the last two seasons, and they're all worried about him. That's fantastic. I love it. This is funny. I really enjoyed this episode, guys. Um, I look forward to checking out the rest. Um, I'm still working on getting the other, what do you call it, Carl Meets Warwick uploaded. Um, let's hope it doesn't do that block thing again. All right, guys. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and I'll see you